magsisimula siya sa paninikip ng dibdib hanggang sa boom, you're already there. Sa point na... Sabi ko hindi ako iiyak eh. Pero, yun. No, 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 no. Kang iyak, kang iyak. Hey, my ex. Welcome back to my channel. This is me, Benedict, with an X. Kung bago ka lang dito sa channel ko, make sure na sampalin mo yung subscribe button na yan at hilain mo na rin yung notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng post ko. For today's video, hindi siya yung typical vlog or typical video na pinapalabas ko dito sa channel na ito. Dapat hindi ko na talaga i-introan to eh. Wala na talagang dapat intro-intro. But I still want to explain why I did this and uh, what not. Gusto kong i-share sa inyo tong short film na to na ako mismo ang nag-direct. And of course, my team ako dyan. At yung mga team ko ay yung mga batchmates ko din mismo sa MCing and Hosting na program ng Smart Fits Baguio. Ito kasi yung final output namin. We were asked to do short films related to social issues. Ganun yung grabe wala akong masabi sa mga batchmates ko. Hindi ko inakala na I can work with them even if they're not really inclined to films or something like that yung, ginag yung gagawin yung papakita ko sa inyo. Hindi sila professional actors. Definitely, wala po silang background sa theater or something like that. And it was also a challenge for me para palabasin ko ano yung gusto kong palabasin, yung i-juice out ko, yung talent or skills na meron sila. I made them discover their capabilities. Siyempre, kailangan mong ilabas yun sa mga actors mo bilang isang director kung paano mo talaga papalabasin yung mensahe. I directed three short films. Yung isa doon yung talagang grupo ko, but the other ones are yung ano lang talaga, yung parang ako lang yung nag-direct. Pero itong isa, na ipapakita ko siguro the next episode siguro yung isa dun ay talaga mismong kagrupo ko but I don't want to preempt all of those kasi I want to focus on what I am about to show today this video is about depression since last October 10 ko sana i-upload to pero nagawal sa oras busy ganun alam mo na last October 10 kasi is mental health Awareness Day and Suicide Prevention nonetheless everyday kailangan aware tayo kahit hindi pa man Awareness Day ngayon uh, am I making sense? Basically, this video is about depression. I will share ko dito sa inyo yung true story ng aking isa sa batchmates na si Kendrick. Ito ang kanyang story ng mga panahong he was about to do it. And to everyone who's going to watch this, viewers' discretion is advised. Kapit ka lang sa akin. Kapit ka. If I can just hug you right now, I would do so. This might somehow be a virtual relationship between you and me, know that I am here to listen. I am here to talk to you. Hindi man ako yun, pero mga friends mo, mga tao sa paligid mo, talk to them, talk to us. Just a quick story. I myself had episodes of yung ganong feeling. I have had anxiety attacks. I don't know if it was already something you can call depression, but for as long as I'm not diagnosed as one, I don't feel like I have to say I'm depressed, but I already felt it. I felt it like I was about to end it. At that moment, at those moments, I should say, just the thought of it gives me chills, goosebumps talaga. Kasi maaalala mo yung moment na katingin ka lang ng diretso pero wala ka talagang tinitignan. Hindi ko ma-explain ko anong feeling, pero ganon. Yung bigla ka nalang mapapa... Bzzg! Ito na yun. Ito na yun. Wait, wait. I don't want to be in this situation. Wait, ayoko dito. Hindi ko alam kung may triggering factor ba o wala. Pero bigla nalang bzzg. Kailangan makawala ako dito. Kasi sa sobrang pagfo-focus mo na ayaw mo yung situation, hindi ka talaga makalis. Alam mo yung parang sleep paralysis. The more na lalabanan mo siya, the more na hindi ka magigising para mawala yung sleep paralysis. Magsisimula siya sa paninikip ng dibdib hanggang sa boom, you're already there. Sa point na... Sabi ko hindi ako iiyak eh. Pero, yun. No, 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 no. Kang iyak, kang iyak. Walang worse, mas worse, or worst talaga sa situation ng depression or mental health. There's a reason why our brain 
is above all the rest of the body parts. Because once it consumed you totally, blackout na yan. What I did was just found reasons to be happy. I know it's, I know, I know, I know, it's not very easy. It's easier said than done. But we have to try. We, I say we because it's not only you. You're not alone. We, your family, your friends, you, you all have to try. It's a conscious effort that you need to do for yourself because you are worthy. You are worthy of living. Even if you feel like you have died, it's never wrong to live again. Whatever it is that happened in the past, you can always start over, begin again, because you have a lot of reasons to live. And if you don't like to live anymore, just live again. And to all people who think that mental health doesn't really matter, don't wait till you experience it yourself. You don't really have to be in that situation for you to support the advocacy. You matter. Mental health matters. What you are about to watch is not the full version of the video, so you guys could check the link in the description box para sa full video niya. Dahil inupload ko po siya dun sa isang channel na dun naman talaga kasi dapat ko i-upload. Pero since gusto ko rin siyang i-share dito sa mismong channel ko because it's something related to me as well and very also it's a social issue, so I feel like it's worth sharing. This is it. Please watch the video in three, two, one. Two, three, two. <laughs> Enjoy watching. Every second counts. Every minute is precious. But my life. continues to come and go, where every day turned out to be unusual and burdensome. Until a day came, where I never thought that I would find myself becoming a chemist, a surgeon, a cliff diver, and a lineman. We proudly wear armors we thought that would protect us, but they grew heavier and larger where we can no longer feel the embrace of those who try to reach us. I felt useless, insensible, and rejected. I questioned my existence and life. Was I a burden? Was I even worth having around? Daunting as it was, every breath began to bludgeon and bear burden on my body, little by little. It was heavy but rapid, like racing in a never-ending circle, being chased by insanity. My lifeless eyes became black holes that savagely sicked and sucked the savers that this world could have served. My eyes that were supposed to be mirrors were shattered by sheer shade of shame. Just when I thought I have ended my life, this is the kind of failure that felt right. Thank God I failed. Thank God I am alive. A healthy mind is the greatest treasure to find. To be healthy as a whole, mental wellness plays a role. There is no health without mental health. There is no better time to start working. The time is now. The place is here. You are not your illness. Together, let us make mental health a priority.